Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. Please excuse this. This is, I just had a long day. <laughs> um, long story short, my car broke down and we had to try to get it started. It actually in, in, ended up starting. So it's God be the glory, but it's just one of those things where you're like, okay, you know that there has to be further investigation on what's going on and it's already a used car. So <sighs> but anyway, so I was, I just did a video, study with me and you guys will see that whenever because it takes a little longer to get those done. But I finished up reading Ephesians. Ephesians was on my list to finish in my books of the Bible to completely read the entire Bible, every page, <laughs> not in order because I felt like I would just fall by the wayside. Like my attention span and everything would just go droop. So unfortunately, I'm not in order entirely because I started out in order. So I'm in order from Genesis to 1 King. I have read that all in order. Everything else was spread. But anywho, I'm in Ephesians 6. And of course, y'all know the famous scriptures, you know, the armor of God. And I was reading this and I began to get convicted. And I'm like... <laughs> but truth be told, plain as day, and maybe you have done this, and this is why I want to just confess to you guys and talk about it on camera, is that we know what the armor of God is. We know what it is. A lot of us are Bible nerds. Like, we could just pick up this Bible and read from it all day. Like, it's just so good to us. So... We feel like because we've done that part and because we know there are people who don't even pick up their weapon that we're good. But in the scripture of the armor of God, the sword is only one part. You have all these other armors, right? All this other gear that you have to put on and keep on. It says put on. It didn't say try on. It didn't say put it off for a second or take a break. Put on the full armor of God. And if you know anything about armor, it is really heavy. So we know it is hard. It's hard to keep all this stuff on. But it says put on. Don't take it off. Put it on. I have a couple analogies for you. When you think about football and basketball, oftentimes when being critiqued and praised, they discuss the offense and the defense. But you never, ever, ever will hear from a coach that they're good on one and they don't need the other. You have to have both. Your offense is your sword. And this is what I've been doing. I've been running around here without my defense, without my helmet, without my breastplate, without my my steel toe boots, without my um what do you call it? My belt. Like I I just been without all of that. And just to be specific cuz I want to make sure I hit all of these so you know what they are because y'all know I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. But um Move my little sticky note here. Very quickly, a final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. All strategies of the Satan. Because he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He is a liar. He's roaming the earth seeking who he can devour. And newsflash, disclaimer, Christians aren't off limits. You're not off the hook. If anything, we are the primary targets because we're trying to please God. We're trying to worship him and honor him with our lives. We're trying to be salt. We're trying to be light. We're trying to influence the world. We're not of the world, but we're in it. And we need to be shining our light and we need to be salting the earth. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood, 
enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in a time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth. Keep that truth with you always, no matter what. The truth is going to offend. The truth is going to make you stand out, be the difference. But you hold on to that truth. You stand on that truth. You keep your belt around your waist. And the body armor, all this right here, of God's righteousness. You need to be righteous and holy at all times. How do you know what God's holiness and his righteousness is? I get to that. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you'll be fully prepared. God is peace. He is love. How do you go about doing this? You need to be slapping the Bible against people's heads. You need to have grace. You need to have mercy. And you need to display yourself as Christ would. He was kind. He had compassion. Be gentle, the fruit of the Spirit. Um, in addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery evils of the devil. Your faith. That's the ultimate protection. Because guess what? Somebody can bang up against the helmet, untie or try to untie the belt, and, you know, mess with these other things, and maybe you can stub your toe or something. But your shield is supposed to help you from the opponent's blocks and blemishes. Like, block all of that out. Get that from even touching you and even coming across on these other areas. This is why faith is so important. Um, and it clearly says the fire arrows of Satan. Satan is throwing his dots. He's throwing his arrows. He's trying to get you. He's trying to stop you from believing. He's trying to stop you from carrying that truth. He's trying to stop you from standing firm. He's trying to weaken you. And like when you shoot arrows and you have an enemy in your target, you're aiming all, you're trying to, by any means, I'm trying to hit you. I'm trying to stop you. But this is what your shield is for. Put on salvation as your helmet. I'm trying to think of something. I got a vision in my head. Like, um, usually when you're looking like little action movies and things of that nature, I may have to adjust these things and all this and the third but I ain't touching my helmet. At the very end, you may have someone reveal themselves, take off the helmet, and they talk to this and the third, but even with that, the helmet's right in their hand. Like, uh-uh. Just in case I got a suit right back up, I need my helmet. I need to protect this. The head. Thank you, Jesus. I need to protect this. The head of the church. The head of your life. I need to protect this. I need to keep this straight. I need to fully protect this. Thank you, Jesus. And take the sword, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. How does God speak to us? Boom. How do you know who God is? Boom. Right here. This is a, um, cause you got people who say there's a whole movement going on y'all. I wish I might do a video on it. I don't know. I don't like calling out people in this that, and third, but I think something needs to be said. There's a whole YouTube channel I stumble across who is anti-Bible anti-preacher, anti-church, anti-fellowshipping, anti-Bible study. All of that is anti. I, you don't need none of that. Just go straight to God yourself. Just, just talk to him and, and talk to God and you don't need nothing else. You mean to tell me that God filled man with the Holy Spirit to write this so that we can have this? But we ain't supposed to use it. And this is the crazy part because <laughs> the gentleman uses scripture to talk about not using scripture. But anyway, how do you explain this? Right here in black and white, put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword, the sword of the, sorry, y'all know country, of the spirit, which is the word of God. <laughs> What's, what, what kind of what other sword is there? Like it's right here in black and white. It's just crazy how people are. But anyway, pray for them, y'all. Pray for them. 
Um, pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Here's another trick of the enemy. You're alone. You're by yourself. Uh-uh. We're in this together. You may be going through this storm right now. It may be my turn tomorrow. It may be somebody the next day. Never, ever forget to pray for others. And this is something, like I said, I, God was walking all on me with this one because I was just like, man, I got a lot going on. I'm stressing. Things going on with my baby. Um, me and my husband fussing. Um, issues with my car. Health issues. Things going on with my mom again. She went to the doctor. They talking about checking her for another cancer. We waiting for results. It's just like, I need to pray for myself. And by all means, pray for yourself, but do not neglect to be your brother's and sister keeper. Somebody's going through something else. I mentioned another video. I don't know if it's posted yet, but I was, um, this subscriber kept dropping in my spirit like, and I'm like, okay, God, okay, God, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. And even I got a little relaxed, like, you know, I'm just chilling. And then pray again, pray again. We need to pray for one. And this is not to say that I don't do a, a, a overall pray, prayer of you guys. But every now and then it's like, pray this, pray that. And you have to be in a position, one, to hear God. You can't be filling yourself with mess, you know. Um, watch, be careful what you watch, what you listen to, who you're around, your environment, your atmosphere, watch all of that. You have to remember that because we are each other's brother, sister, keeper, that's something else that Satan's going to distract. Like, Hey, I'm, you got all this going on. I ain't got time to pray for nobody else. I ain't got, I don't feel like praying for nobody else. And not to say that that's what, how I'm feeling, but that's what the end result is going to be. You get so tired of caught up what you got going on that is, you don't think about nobody else. But remember, somebody is always going through worse. And even if you don't consider it worse, just understand it could be their worse. It could be their really bad day, their really bad storm. Pray for everybody, everyone. Y'all, don't let Satan catch you slipping. Put all of it on from head to toe. And get your weapon, get your shield, and suit up. Because Satan ain't playing. He ain't letting up. He know what his goal is. He know what he's trying to accomplish. He's trying to get everybody to turn away before it's too late. Because he know his time is short. I love you guys. Continue to pray for me because I'm praying for y'all. God bless. Take care. Bye.